Hi, starting from this video, for next couple of videos, we'll work on the Python files. Understanding the Python file, how it is working or how to use it is very important in Python programming. Many Python scripts or many Python applications, they read or write Python files a lot. So this Python file operation is very vast and there are many things we need to learn. But once you learn, then you will feel that it's very simple. So to make it understand, I decided to divide the whole Python file operation in multiple sections like opening a file and then reading a file, then closing, writing, appending. In this way, I will uh, create next couple of videos uh, for each topic. This module will be a brief introduction of opening a file, but we are not going to read or write for this module. Next videos, you will see those things. But for this video, you only able to see how to open the file. Before going to the main discussion of this tutorial, uh, I will request to if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel. And all the notes of this video will be available my few steps that blogspot.com over there you will find python menu and if you go there you will find there everything over there now let's get started before starting working with files at first we need to open the file in python there is one built-in method it's called open using open method we can open the file but what is the main reason of opening a file there are basically number of reasons the main reason to open the file are two things one is reading and other is writing if we cannot open we cannot do reading or we cannot write so that's why this method is very important for any file operation inside open method we need to declare couple of parameters the only one parameters which is a must have to be defined that is the file we must have to put the file name and sometimes if the file is not in the same folder we have to put the file path with file name and then there are two other optional parameters are there and those are mode and the second one is encoding if you don't declare this mode and encoding that by default it will take the default mode and default encoding mode now let's check what is the mode there are a couple of modes are there some of them are read write and append these are the three main modes and there are other optional modes are there those are binary mode and text mode uh, i put it r w a b t this because r means read w means write a means append b means binary file and t means text file so these are the defined modes of python right now it is supported these modes are optional you don't need to define but if you don't define what will do python will by default it will take the read mode but it is always recommended that you will specify the mode it will make your code more readable and more understandable and it makes your code more good quality program or good quality of a script so i personally suggest to specify the mode with uh, the mode uh, other things like whether it is binary or text this is also optional you can also add those things i will discuss those things later when we will work with opening the file now come to encoding mode python supports multiple types of encoding like utf8 utf16 utf32 ANSI, and many other encoding mode i will give you the link where you can see all the encoding modes which are available right now in the video description if the file contains some encoding then we have to use the encoding here in the optional things so this encoding is optional i told you earlier uh, but mentioning this encoding things in your open method it's a good practice if you don't mention the encoding in your open method python will use the default encoding python works with files either binary mode or the text mode in computer files are stored generally in binary but it depends on your open system how it is handling but python handles either binary or text file for binary files there is no encoding is used it directly write or read by byte object and that is a raw bytes but for text file it's different scenario for text mode at first python encode that thing to write and whenever it tries to read at first it decode and then it starts reading those things so there is decoding or encoding involved in text file now we will start the practical session uh, let's make our hand dirty with some 
programming using Visual Studio Code and some Python script, but you can use any other uh, editor also. This will not be happy Python programming. It will just open the file. I will use how to, I will show you how to use the open method. So this is uh, the Visual Studio Code and Python is already installed there. So basically there is a folder few steps and under there there is one file. This is text file my file dot text and this text has this number of lines. Okay. So to open this file we need to create uh, the file object, right? So what I have to do? We have to create a Python script first, uh, like file operation dot pi. So I just uh, mentioned the file name is file operation dot pi. Okay. Now we will open that file by using some Python script. Uh, we know that to open the Python file, uh, we need to use the open method right so we are typing open then inside this open there are couple of parameters we can define okay if we don't define anything what you will do python will actually by default it will open as read mode now there is one mandatory things is required inside the open method we need to define the file name and for this case the file name is my file dot text so i am typing uh, my file name my file dot txt so this is my file name and then once we define that then we can uh, open this file in different options so let me define it in a file object like f equal open now let's check whether it is able to define the file name or not so we can use the method f dot name and it will give us the file name okay and inside uh, we can print it inside the print method okay so i'm typing print and then uh, this thing f dot file name F dot name so name is used to check whether uh, this file is uh, opening i mean this file is configured uh, properly or not by this f variable and if we run this application then what we'll get we'll get some output right so let me clear there are many things so let me run again and we'll see uh, there here my file dot text so basically it is showing that uh, this file is there and if you want to check the mode of this file we can also do by uh, printing another line like f dot mode so if we uh, type f dot mode then if we run the application it will show you which mode it is opening this read mode because we def didn't de define anything here that's why it is in read mode by default it is actually uh, opening in read mode but if we want to uh, mention the mode then we can also do by typing mode equal to suppose we want to mode it write mode okay so at that time if we run the application or script what will happen the mode will be changed right so let me clear this thing and run the uh, script again now we will see this is in write mode right or if you want to use the append mode you can also do by typing a now it will show you append mode okay and i told you there are a couple of optional things also with this we can either uh, open this file in binary mode or text mode so for example we want to uh, open this file in read mode and binary mode okay so at that time we have to use r then at last we have to push b that means read binary mode okay then now if we run the application or script we'll see it is in rb that means read and binary mode and uh, if you want to text mode you can also type t and then run you will see that it is text mode okay and we also discussed that uh, by default uh, this file has a default encoding but we don't know what is the encoding of our operating system so let's check the encoding thing of our uh, operating system so to check the encoding thing we have to use the uh, sys uh, module okay so we can define import sys sys and then after that we can print uh, sys dot get default uh, this method get default encoding this is dot get default encoding now if we run the application we'll see what is the default encoding of our operating system so here we are seeing that the okay it is showing the object because i didn't put the method this is a method get default uh, encoding so we have to put a parenthesis over there and if we run now it will show us the default encoding of uh, our operating system and it is showing the default encoding mode is utf8 okay and here uh, the file object name is this file my file dot text and it is opening as rt mode that means read text mode okay now here we can also 
define the encoding uh, like uh, encoding for encoding we have to define encoding keyword and after that we have to put uh, the encoding mode suppose i want to put utf-8 this is the default encoding mode and if we run uh, the thing it will also open the same it will give you the same output so in this way we can actually open our file and i told you uh, this is the main thing we must have to define uh, what is the file or file path uh, here and then after that this two things are optional but this is a good practice uh, to mention those things and then we check uh, what is the file name uh, that means this file is opening and then we also check uh, the mode of this f object or file object okay so in this way we can do this thing but there is one important thing i want to mention i didn't discuss till now uh, if you open file you must have to close otherwise there uh, might be some uh, issues or some uh, problem you will face later when you will process a big file or whenever you will process a lot of multiple file if there is some uh, exception or error is occurred then there will be lots of difficulties okay so to protect those things we must have to be closed our file but here i am not going to discuss i will discuss that later okay so you have to use uh, this thing f dot close close uh, to close the file so once you open the file you must have to do uh, one thing you must have to close the file and there is no benefit and after closing the file you can also check the mode of this file okay this file object so for that case we can write uh, on command like f dot closed it will give you either true or false this is a uh, boolean thing run one more time and uh, let's check so if we run the application we'll see that it is giving true that means it is closed and if it is open then it will be false suppose for this example if you want to disable this line if we run this thing now we'll see it is false that means it is running in uh, it is uh, open but we didn't close so this is more or less about open uh, method in file operation i think uh, you are pretty clear uh, how to open a file and how to handle different modes with different encoding and if you have any question regarding this open method of file operation just put in the comment section and if you like the video uh, i will request you to like the video and share with other people and also comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you are a new visitor of our channel thank you for watching and next in the next videos couple of videos i will show you how to uh, read the file how to write the file how to append the file how to modify and so on thank you for watching so see you on the next video